Let's get started. That's okay with everybody? So many of you have given me such a warm welcome to Gallaudet University. And now it's my turn to reverse the sentiment. My warmest of welcome to you all returning from the semester break. For those of you who stayed in Washington, you sure had a winter surprise. Snow and cold and plenty of it. That's nothing new to me in Rochester. But I hope that none of you blamed it on me. Yes, Washington and Gallaudet faced a cold breeze, but your warm greetings were a welcome thaw. Now we're back for the start of a new year. When we talk about a new year, we mean the year that comes on January 1. But we also mean a new year, with an emphasis on the word new. For all of us, students, faculty, and staff, we want it to be a new feeling of moving forward, a new feeling of excitement, a new feeling of change. That is the Gallaudet we envision. One of the first things we have done is to establish a Gallaudet President's Cabinet. I ask each member named on the slide to please stand and remain standing. There'll be three slides. The cabinet members named on the slide are Katherine Anderson, Associate Provost, Enrollment Man Management, David Armstrong, Executive Director, Gallaudet University Press and External Affairs, Donald Beal, Chief of Staff, Edward Basso, Vice President, Laurent Clare National Deaf Education Center. Thank you. Please be seated. I'd like to ask each member named on the next slide to stand and please remain standing. These cabinet members are Deborah DiStefano, known as Debbie, Special Assistant to the President for Operations and Board Liaison, Paul Kelly, Vice President, Administration and Finance, Cynthia King, Interim Chief Information Officer, Richard Lytle, Special Assistant to the President and Executive Director, Strategic Planning. Thank you, please be seated. And finally, I ask that each member named on the slide please stand and remain standing. Oh, the captions were blocking the last name. These cabinet members are Ann Powell, Interim Associate Provost for Diversity, Fred Weiner, Executive Director, Program Development, Stephen Weiner, Provost, and last, me, President. Thank you, please be seated. I chose individuals with significant assignments to the betterment of the university. I chose individuals with a history of accomplishment and the ability for continued contributions. I chose individuals I could depend on for advice well beyond their current assignments. 
The cabinet may change over time. The cabinet may contract or expand depending on the long-term issues we face. The cabinet will invite periodic participation from others. I have emphasized with the cabinet my expectation that we work together with respect, with trust, with dialogue, and with open communication. And critically, that we work together as a team. These values are so important for all of us throughout the university. Many of you sent me positive comments about the cabinet. And I thank you for those comments. Several were upset with the membership. I understand your comments and intend to meet with you to discuss them. But let me address your concerns directly. Some felt that there was not a champion for issues of importance like bilingualism. Some felt there was not a representative of the diversity on campus. I understand, appreciate, and respect those views. I expect every cabinet member to consider all campus issues. I expect every cabinet member to represent everyone on campus. I expect every cabinet member to ensure actions are taken for the benefit of the broadest interests. Please understand, we will work for the most inclusive of environments possible. Indulge me while I repeat myself. We will work for the most inclusive of environments possible. Cabinet members are not my only advisors. Service on the cabinet is not the only way your views reach me. Each of you can become an advisor. Stop me when I walk across campus. Send me an email. In fact, many of you are already doing this. It's wonderful that so many of you feel comfortable communicating with me directly with your support, your ideas, your hopes, and your concerns for the future of Gallaudet. I welcome that communication, and I thank those who took the time and who took the risk to communicate with me. I accept all of your views very seriously. During the coming weeks and months, I will also meet with students, faculty, and staff I will meet with our governance groups. Each group will become an advisory group. Their contributions to the areas of strategic change and on other issues are critical to a successful university. In addition, we will formulate a university council with campus-wide representation from students, faculty, and staff. This group will be asked to consider what's best in a balanced way for the entire campus. We will provide multiple one-of-a-kind opportunities for small and large groups to interact with me. My wife Vicki and I will open our on-campus home, House One. It will become another venue, an informal one, through which you can share views with me. Recall from my presentation during my candidacy for president that our focus will be on people. That starts with students, always at the forefront of our thinking. 
our focus will absolutely include faculty and staff. We'll be watchful of the critical roles of the Board of Trustees and the Board of Associates. We must extend our attention to the extensive outside constituencies. In this regard, it will be my intention throughout my presidency to be as visible and available as possible, particularly for students. Simply put, I will take the time to meet and know people through a wide variety of activities, ranging from simply walking the campus to establishing meetings with a variety of individuals to hosting groups at House One. Why will we undertake these steps? Because we envision Gallaudet with a free flow of ideas. A university is an environment where ideas are shared. A university is an environment in which individuals respect others who are different from them. A university is an environment in which the civil discourse of opposing views is not only supported and respected, but encouraged and welcomed. In the remainder of our talk, let's discuss our mission, the Gallaudet Strategic Plan, and an updated version of my comments from when I was a candidate for the Gallaudet Presidency. Some say we need a constant reminder of the significance of our mission. I am one of them. I have reformatted the mission on this slide without changing any of the words into three thrusts. Allow me to read the slide for the benefit of those who can't read from the slide. Gallaudet University, federally chartered in 1864, is a bilingual, diverse, multicultural institution of higher education that ensures the intellectual and professional advancement of deaf and hard of hearing individuals through American Sign Language and English. Gallaudet maintains a proud tradition of research and scholarly activity and prepares its graduates for career opportunities in a highly competitive, technological, and rapidly changing world. Our Gallaudet strategic plan includes these five goals. This slide says, Gallaudet's strategic plan, A, grow enrollment, B, increase graduation rate, C, secure resource base and increase efficiency, D, refine core programs to position students for career success, and E, establish an epicenter of research, development, and outreach. Let's talk about our mission and our strategic goals and of the interplay between some of them. Bilingual, diverse, multicultural appears first in our mission statement. 
This topic is a vital one. This topic is constantly before us, before all of us. This topic is part of the heart of our environment. This is not a goal we achieve with one activity. It is not a goal we check off as achieved at some future date. Instead, it is a mindset that each of us must develop in our daily lives on campus. We must and we will do that. Research and scholarly activity, the second topic of our mission, are so critical in a university environment. I had the opportunity to review the research section of our annual report. We will indeed build on that work to become the epicenter, as described in our strategic goal. Career opportunities, the third element of our mission, guided our strategic planning to the goal of refining core programs to position students for career success. In this area, our plans require optimizing programs, developing new programs, strengthening student preparation for employment and career success, and increasing faculty accountability for student learning and development. This area will be a challenge demanding all of our efforts. What an exciting challenge we'll face. Student success will be our beacon. Student success will help us envision Gallaudet University as a fertile ground for young deaf and hard of hearing students to develop their global knowledge and skills. It will also guide us to develop student leadership and advocacy skills to enhance the quality of life of all deaf and hard of hearing people throughout the world. Student success will help us envision Gallaudet University with its vibrant resources of knowledge and skills to influence and impact education of all deaf and hard of hearing children in the US and abroad. Student success will help us envision partnerships with the Washington Area Consortium of Colleges and Universities, as well as other colleges and universities. It will allow students to choose from multiple academic paths, allowing students to achieve their highest career goals. Student success will help us envision Gallaudet with a center in which students can exercise their skills at innovation and creativity. Students will be able to test themselves before leaving the university. They will be able to enhance their readiness for graduate study or the working world, including starting their own businesses. Student success will help us envision Gallaudet University as a strong and viable contributor to life in the Washington, D.C. area, helping to reshape the Washington landscape. Through our strategic vision process, we have envisioned these dreams with a significantly larger student body. That led us to the goal of significant enrollment growth. Because there is clear evidence that graduation can contribute significantly to future success, we have adopted an ambitious strategic goal 
to dramatically increase our graduation rate. None of this happens without obtaining resources and increasing efficiency, another of our strategic goals. None of this happens without deep commitment. It requires the deepest of commitment from each of us. We must understand our mission and its goals. We must understand our strategic plan and its goals. We must understand the interaction between our mission and our strategic plan. We believe what we do today will strengthen what we leave for next generations. In closing, let me share my growing love for Gallaudet. We are given a heritage. We are given a history. We are given a legacy. And with those gifts, we are given a responsibility. We must ensure that future generations of deaf and hard of hearing students and hearing students who work with them are given the same opportunities we are given. Past generations have so thoughtfully provided so much to us. We must do the same for future generations. I know what excites us is a feeling of potential. I know what excites us is a feeling of possibilities. I know what excites us is a feeling of future. Thank you for inspiring each other and me with those feelings. Thank you. Thank you all. Now please join me for a reception outside the auditorium. Thank you for coming.